hi guys welcome back to my channel today we are back with another tutorial in this tutorial we'll show you how to implement bottom navigation with centered floating action button you must have seen this design in many apps as it is very attractive so we'll uh, tell you how to implement it uh, before starting the tutorial please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon okay let's start the tutorial uh, as you can see I am pressing this both the uh, both these uh, uh, side buttons and the center floating action button the screens are changing this container on button clicks so this is what we'll get and let let me show you the code part uh, as we have the stateless uh, stateful widget uh, uh, page here and here we have three more pages page one page two page three and array of pages and thereafter we have scaffold in this scaffold we have floating action button location which is center docked which should be here and thereafter we have floating action button and floating action button uh, is defined like this which we have the uh, icon and this is the uh, uh, stadium border which is this white border around this floating action button to make it more attractive and then we have the uh, we are uh, defining the body which are uh, those array of pages this and we have bottom navigation which we are using from bottom app bar we are uh, we are uh, using this bottom app bar and it has the container and container has the rows and we are uh, def uh, we are uh, we have defined the uh, bo uh, three children one is this home the other is the second one is the uh, this scan text this and this is the second child and third one is the this journal and as you can see we have not used the icon because uh, we have already floating action icon so for the second child we are not using icon but for the first and second we are using the icon like this and we are maintaining the page index on button click we are changing the state with the page index value which is helping to change the page number and those page and uh, those pages are defined here you can change it to stateful or state uh, whatever uh, is your requirements uh, stateless and stateful so this is page one and this is page two and this is page three so th uh, this is not very complicated uh, it is very simple uh, you can follow this uh, tutorial and follow this uh, code and you can implement this you can implement this easily so i hope uh, you got to know uh, very easily about the uh, about the implementation of uh, bottom navigation so thank you guys uh, we'll end the uh, tutorial here and we'll be back with another tutorial thank you guys don't forget to subscribe my channel bye